Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to see you. We're looking at theologians that are dear to my heart. And we've been looking at Herman Bob Inc. And we're looking at Dutch Reformed Theology. And we're looking now at Abraham Kuyper. Uh, a wonderful guy who has had a great impact on me. I, um, Abraham Kuyper was born on the 29th of October, 1837 died 8th of November 1920. He was a Dutch politician, journalist, statesman and theologian. Founded a political party, became the Prime Minister of Netherlands in 1901 to 1905. Kuiper's father, Frederick Kuiper, served as a minister of the Dutch Reformed Church. Kuiper in 1855 graduated from the gymnasium and began to study literature, philosophy and theology at Leiden University. Um, he received a number of honours as an academic uh, and um, he took classes in Arabic, Ar Armenian and physics. In 1822 he was promoted Doctor in Theology on the basis of his dissertation uh, Disquistio Historio Theologico Exibens Johannes Calvina etc etc. He compared the views of John Calvin and John Lasky. Uh, Kuiper sympathising with Lasky. In 1862 he was declared eligible for the ministry in 1863 he accepted a call to become minister of the Dutch Reformed Church. He married Johann, Johanna Hendrik Shea in 1842 to 1899. They have five sons and three daughters. 1864 he began corresponding with the anti revolutionary MP Gurlum Groen van Prinsteren. Around 1866 he began to sympathise with the orthodox tendency within the Dutch Reformed Church. In 1886 Kuiper led an exodus from the Dutch Reformed Church. He grieved the loss of the Reformed distinctives within the state's church which no longer required office bearers to agree with reform standards. Kuiper insisted that both ministers and church members subscribe to the reform confessions and he had uh, an illustrious political career and uh, he wrote a number of theological books which are still classics today and uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can read uh, about Ibram Kuiper.